Hello viewers and welcome to the lesson. In this lesson, I would like us to work out this question on statistics. The question is as follows. The number of students in food schools in a certain sub-county were recorded as follows. So they are there. To the TA255, all those are the number of students in food schools. Part A of the question. Complete the frequency distribution below for the data. You're given the number of students and the number of schools. You're supposed to fill the number of schools. Then part B, on the grid provided, draw a histogram to represent the data. So the graph was provided. And then uh, the next question supposed to answer is um, question part C. Use the histogram to estimate 1, the median, to max then the number of schools with more than 350 students so those are the questions so let us go straight to the first part of the question and see how we're supposed to do that now we are given the data the number of students in 40 schools in a certain sub county we are supposed to complete the table frequency distribution below for the data so what we got to do uh, is to find the classes are given number of students from 100 to 199 we are supposed to count uh, from the figures that we have there or the number of students then from 200 to 49 we write the figure so in short we are required to get the frequency the number of schools in this case represents the frequency so we start with 100 to 199 so from all these figures we are supposed to find uh, the number of students that are beginning from 100 to 199. So this is what I will do. So the first row, 100 to 199. Do this one very fast. So one is here. And then we have the second one is here. The third one is here. Then we have the other one is here. And then we don't have another one. So... From 100 to 199, there are four schools that had that um, number. From 100 students to 199, four. There are four schools. You just count one, two, three, four. From 200 students to 249 students. So how many schools had that number? So we count from 200 to 249. So that one is 1, 200 to 249, we have 2 there, 200 to 249, we have another one here. And then we have um, 1 here, we have another one here. And you see that we have another one. 200 to 249. Now we have another one here. Don't have others. So we count them. How many schools? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They are 6 schools with 200 to 249 students. 250 to 399. We count them. 250 to 399. One is here. Then we have uh, to 399. We have another one here. Mm, we have another one here. This one. Then we have um, another one here. We also have um, this one. We also have this. So we have this one. We have also this one. There are quite many here. We also have these. We also have um, this one. We have these. We also have that. So there are quite many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12. So there are 12 schools with this population, 250 to 399. So we go to 400 to 599. Uh, we have one here. One is there. 400 to 599. We have another one here. Uh, we also have another one here. We also have another one here. 400 to 599. We also have another one here. Another one is there. We have these. We also have that. So we count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let me see here. We have another one. 400 to this confirmation. 400 to 599. So they're okay. I can count them. I've seen them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there are ten schools with four hundred to five ninety-nine. We go to six hundred to seven eight nine. Six hundred to seven ninety-nine. Six hundred to seven ninety-nine. We have one here. We have uh, two, we have uh, three, we have four, we have five, we have six. So there are six, 600 to 799, one, two, three, four, five, six, there are six, there are six. And then the last one, 800 to 849, 800 to 849, 800 to 849, we have, there are only two remaining, so we have this zone and this zone, so there are only two, so there are only two, that is how you complete the frequency distribution table. To confirm, you can add, since there are 40 schools, the total frequency that is the number of school the total should give you 40 so this is 10 22 32 38 and 40 so that is how you require to do the first part part b of the question on the grid provided draw a histogram to represent the data so the grid is given so let us proceed and draw the histogram now to draw the histogram as you can see, we require the frequency density on the y-axis and then the class limits are given. So what you will be required to do is to construct a separate table. So I've done it, uh, which I will have to calculate the frequency densities of each of these classes. So to do this, uh, you require class width because for you to calculate frequency density, you require the class width. So we shall calculate the class width first. Uh, the first class from 100 to 199. Uh, the class width, we get it by getting the upper class limit of that class, which is 199.5. Subtract the lower class limit, which is 99.5. So this will give 100. So that is the class width. The second one, we'll get it by taking 249.5, subtract 199.5. That one will give a class size of 50. classes of 50. Now after getting the class width, now we can proceed and get the frequency density which you're going to use to plot. Now to get the frequency density, we take the frequency, we divide it by class width. So the first one we have 4 divided by 100, we get a 0 0.04. Then the second one, you can use a calculator to do this, 6 divided by 50, so we have 6 divided by 
50 this will give 0 0.12 the second one is 12 divided by 150 12 divided by 150 you get 0 0.08 10 divided by 200 get 0 0.05 the next one is 6 divided by 200 6 divided by 200 0 0.03 and 2 divided by 50 2 divided by 50 you get 0 0.04 now those are the frequency densities now we can proceed and use the frequency densities to plot uh, the histogram so look at the scale uh, the x axis scale uh, starts from 99.5 you can see at uh, two centimeters represents 100 for the y axis we have two centimeters representing 0 0.05 so it is good to note that uh, then one centimeter will represent 0 0.025 then this one again you must note that that is very important one centimeter will be 0 0.025 let us plot the first one uh, the first one is we have um, first class the frequency density is 0 0.04 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 is here so this is uh, Point four will be here. So you have this is a point two five. This one is point three three five. This would be point four. And the first class goes up to one ninety nine. Let me confirm. It goes up to. So we'll get it at the 20th position. So what we'll be required to do in this question, uh, looking at um, the histogram that we've drawn, 
we shall get the area of all the birds. The area of all the birds. And when you calculate the total area of the birds, there's something that you're going to note. There's something that there's something that you're going to note. Uh, the area of the bars would be given by, each bar will be given by the class width, that is the area of each bar will be given by the class width multiplied by the total frequency. The class width multiplied by total frequency. And to get the area, just uh, write it here, you notice like here you get the area will be 4 when you multiply, class width multiplied by frequency density would be 4, then 50 multiplied by 12, you get 6. So you'll notice that the area of each bar is equivalent to the frequency of that bar. When you take the class width, multiply by the frequency density of each class, you notice uh, when you do that calculation, the area of each bar is equivalent to the uh, frequency. So therefore, we can conclude and say that area of all bars is equals to 40 is equals to 40 so half the median will be obtained by getting a half of the area of those bars which is a half multiplied by 40 so that will still give 20 that will still give 20 so what you need to do is to establish at which point do we have um, in which class do we have the median? And you notice where does um, if you calculate the total the cumulative frequency, you can use the cumulative frequency to do this. So using the cumulative frequency, um, so if I use the cumulative frequency, I have the first one is four, then we have ten, we have twenty two, we have thirty two, thirty eight. And 40. So where does the median lie? In which class? And this is what you notice. It lies here. This is where we have the we have it here in this class where we have 250 to 399. So the median class. So the median class. The median class is equals to. 250 to 399 because this is where we have 20 uh, 20 will be here where we have um, this class now when you go to when you go to the histogram that you drew we can draw that line where we have so that class beginning from a 250 to 300 and 399 is here so this is probably where we shall this is uh, where we have this is just a line showing where we have the um, median now therefore the position will be obtained as follows I want you to follow this eh? So median will be given by the frequency of the first bar is 4. Then the second one is 6. Then the third bar is 12. So we have the median in this class here. So we have 4 plus 6 plus... Now when you add... 4 plus 6 plus 12, you notice that you get 22. So that one will exceed. You require 20 because the median is located at the 20th position, the 20th school. Okay? So to get the 20th school, there's something that we don't have here. We can let this width that is here, this is the width that we require to get. And this, we can let this width be represented by x. But we have the frequency density of that class. To get the frequency, we took the class width and multiplied it by the frequency density. So for this specific class where we have 
the median we shall take the frequency density which is 0.08 then the class width is what we don't know so we let the class width to be x then we multiply that by the frequency density which is 0.08 the frequency density of that class is 0.08 and this should give us 20 so that is how we shall get this width the width that is going to take us directly to the mean and that is what we don't know and that is what you want to calculate so remember what you're using here is that the frequency is obtained by taking the class width multiplied by the frequency density that is how we obtained four that is how we obtained six so even for this class the class width which is x multiplied by the frequency density is going to give that so we solve this equation this will give uh, 10 plus 0 0.08 x is equals to 20. When you work out x here, when you work out the value of x in this equation, you'll get the x value to be, this will be 10 divided by, and by 0 0.08, which will give 125. So x will be 125. So what we shall do now, notice that this point here is 249. This will be 200. This point is 249.5. And then we have obtained that width, which is 100. And, this is 125. So this is what we shall do uh, to get now the median. So to get the median, we shall take uh, this class, the beginning of this class, where these um, by is beginning. So 249.5 plus the value of x, which will give us now the position of the median, which is 125. And this will give, so 249. 0.5 plus 125 this will give 374.5 so that is simply how you get the median from the histogram now the other question is the number of schools with more than 350 students the number of schools with more than 350 students so the schools um, with more than 350 students. We can start with the, the maximum number of students, which is uh, this class, uh, 800 to 849. So the first one is this school. That one will be, we can start from the last. Eh? Then we have six. We also have 10. Then for this class, for this class, beginning from 250 to 399, do some subtraction there. So to get the number of schools with um, more than 350 students, the first school is 2. So the first one is 2. Then we have 6 plus we have the other one which is 10. And then we have, now when it comes to this class, uh, you can see this class is beginning from 250 to 399. So we need to get the ones who are just above 350. So to do that, we shall take, um, th that class goes to a maximum of 399. So we shall take 399, 399.5, that is the upper class limit of that class. And then we subtract 350. This will give those who are just above 350, 350. And then this will give the class width. That width is the class width. But what did we do to get the frequency? We have to multiply that one by the frequency density. The frequency density of that class is 0 0.08. We are doing that since we have noticed that when you take frequency density multiplied by the class width, that is what is giving you the frequency. So in this class, when you get 399.5 subtract um, 350, that will be the class width. 
So we shall take the class width, multiply by the frequency density to get the frequency of that class. And um, frequency will give the number of schools. So let us just work it out. So we get this is 8, which will be 18 plus. Then work out um, 399.5 minus 350. Multiply by 0 0.08. They will give 3.96. 3.96. And when we add these, uh, we add 18, we get 21.96. Now, these are these are number of schools. So what you're going to do, you need to be very keen here. You cannot round uh, the schools forward. So this one, you round the number of schools downwards. And therefore, you'll get exactly 21 schools you round downwards. And that is simply how you're required to solve that question. Thank you.